Please speed this. Please speed this up in the eventual video. Hi, Mayo. Who Today we're going to talk about DNA tests and specifically ancestry tests. Because if you're of East Asian background and you've ever taken a test with big companies in the West like Ancestry or 23andMe, you've probably found that the results can be a little lacking. I did this DNA test like three years ago with Ancestry and when I got back the result, it said that I was 99% East Asian and 1% Pacific Islander. That's very apparent looking at your face, I guess. Right, so it was like $100 wasted <laughs> for someone to tell me that I'm basically an Asian. So I did the test myself a couple years ago with MyHeritage and I got 94.4% Chinese and Vietnamese, that means they didn't split it out. And I got 4% Japanese and or Korean. And for some reason, inexplicably, 1.6% Finnish. <laughs> so that is quite unsatisfying. For me, I wanted to know where my family is from. I'm pretty sure my family is mostly Chinese, but I wanted to know which part. And so to get this sort of like big lump of East Asia is highly unsatisfying to me. So why is this happening? It's essentially a database problem. Since companies can only match your DNA with the DNA samples they've collected, the results are limited by the pool of people they have. So if you're in the United States, you're not likely to have a whole lot of specific information about someone in China. But that's why a whole bunch of Chinese DNA test companies have popped up in recent years. Companies like 23 Muofang and WeGene promise more specific results down to which part of China your ancestors are from, based on their pool of Chinese people's DNA. So we wanted to try it for ourselves, because we both had questions about where our families came from. That means a lot to someone like me, because uh, on my dad's side, my dad is Hakka, and that means that supposedly there was a big migration from north to south in the Jin Dynasty. How long ago is that? It was like more than 1,600 years ago. <laughs> okay, so big migration, and my dad's side of the family doesn't have any records about where they come from or who they are, and I'm just curious. I've been curious my whole life. So he spat an unholy amount of spit into a tube. Who's going to cook oil? Packed it in an envelope. All right, and uh, that should be it. And shipped our spit to 23 Mofang's headquarters in Chengdu. Our results came back three weeks later. So let's see what they say about my Chinese ancestry. I am apparently 81.73% Southern Han, 11.4% Zhuang or Dai. Okay, and where's that from? It's two of the ethnicities in Yunnan province, which borders Vietnam and Myanmar and Laos. Okay. And I am apparently 6.87% Korean. <laughs> I got Korean. So let me tell you about my results. I'm 88% Southern Han Chinese, also 11% Korean. I don't know if the percentages actually mean say that I'm like actually 6.87% Korean, just that 6.87% of my DNA matches someone who also said they were Korean. And that's sort of one of the flaws of these DNA tests. It's based on someone saying that they were of this ethnicity. And what's more, because companies often don't share the same samples, the results can vary from service to service. And just to illustrate how widely varying the data is, I sent my DNA to another Chinese DNA testing company called WeGene. They gave me very different ancestry results. They said I was 57.26% Southern Han Chinese and 26.1% Northern Han Chinese. The other thing is that these results are based on how big the sample size is. So if it's very small, like say a couple hundred or thousand people, you might get very unsatisfying results. We talked to a genetics professor at the University of Hong Kong about the sample size issue, and this is what he said. To get really good coverage, you may need millions of people to kind of have a, a what we call it, statistical power to discern like differences between north and south of China. And the CEO of 23 Muofang thinks that's possible. Today, there are about 50,000 samples. The 
二零一二年，全美有三十万人做了啊直接面向消费者的基因检测，然后到二零一七年结束是一千两百万人，二零一八年结束是两千六百万人，中国在二零一七年结束的时候，啊就整个中国刚好也是三十万人，所以说按照美国六年。五年的速度应该是五千万人的一个量级。And as the sample sizes of these companies grow, we could actually see our results changing. Most importantly, have you told your parents? I did, but they didn't really give me much of a reaction. <laughs> they're they're just sort of like, okay, this is what like one company says about what they think we are, but we know who we are, and we know like our family history. And so, what does it matter what our ancestry is? We know like what our family is. Fair enough. Well, my family is different. I think、um, we don't know as closely where we've come from. So they were curious as well, and、uh, they just know that we're most probably not Finnish or Korean.、Um, But when I explained it to them, they said, "Yeah, you know, it, it kind of checks out that the Hakka thing, you know, going all over the place. Yeah, that's that's how they processed it, and they were they were quite amused actually." But then, at the end of the day, it's really just about whether our DNA matches someone who reported what they are. Trust、so、me, when I explained that to them, they lost interest immediately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess it's sort of like a horoscope. You can always just take it or leave it.、Uh, we want to hear our DNA stories too. So, if you've taken any one of these tests, tell us about it. And as always, subscribe to Gold Thread too. Hello. 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 I was wondering what you thought about us being 1.6 percent Angmo. Aren't you surprised? No way. No way. <laughs> It has to be、uh, Chinese or Japanese or Korean. Why? Okay. <laughs> Nothing. I just I just wanted to know your feelings about this. Oh,、uh, I、yeah. got no problem. As long as I got 90 percent Chinese, it's fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs>